Do you, do you see Apple building a car and that maybe being a threat to you? Well, um, I would encourage uh, more participation um, by whoever it is to create electric vehicles. Um, it, it's, it's quite hard to do, um, but I think uh, companies like Apple will probably make a compelling electric car. It seems like the obvious thing to do. Are you betting that that's going to happen? Have you heard anything? Well, it's pretty hard to hide something if you hire over a thousand engineers to do it. So you think Apple is serious about it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> this is an open secret. And will that be a threat to you or will that just expand the industry? I mean, I think it will expand the industry. I mean, te certainly Tesla would aspire to still make the most compelling electric vehicles. I and mean, that would be our goal. Um, while at the same time trying to help other companies make electric cars as well. Um, so, for example, last year we open sourced all of our patents. So anyone can use any of our patents for free. What Google is doing. How do you assess what they're doing when you're looking at it? Because there'll be competitors at some point. These are all um, eventual competitors. Well, you know, I think what, what Google's, I mean, Google's done a great job of showing the potential of autonomous transport. Right. Um, but they're, they're, not a, they're not a car company. So I, I wouldn't say, you know, Google's a competitor um, because they, they're not a car company. They, we would compete with somebody perhaps that they license technology to, but not to them directly. Right. Um, Apple? Um, yeah, that, that'll be more direct. That'll Absolutely. be more direct? Yeah. You can tell that by the hiring pattern and yeah, yeah, that absolutely. kind of stuff? Yeah. So what do you, okay, so they're going to be more direct. How Tesla. do you assess it? I mean, I, I say like, you know, I, I, I think it's great that they're doing this and, um, you know, I hope they, I hope it works out. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the time frame from them, do you think? Um, I don't know. I mean, um, I, I think they should have embarked upon this project sooner, actually. Um, <laughs> Uh, that that, uh, but I don't know. I don't know when they. I mean, they have, you know, they don't share with me the details of their mm -hmm, mm -hmm. production plans. But um, I, I, I don't think it's going to be. I don't think they'll be in volume production sooner than maybe 2020. That'll be like the soonest. And that's is that too late? We say they should have embarked sooner. Is tw is that because 2020 will be too late to stop you or beat you or compete with you or what? No, it's just like it's a missed opportunity. It's just a that they. It'll be over by 2020? No, no, it's, not, it's, not, it's just like it's, it's, it's a couple of years. I think they'll, they'll probably make a good car and uh, probably be successful.